He's gay. Right in the center of the screen there. guys today I got a little something different for you um, since I've started this YouTube channel and even before I've always had people ask me they's like you know why do you coon hunt well um, for me I can't remember not coon hunting I've always had dogs my dad was a coon hunter my grandpa was a coon hunter I'm I don't even remember my first dog don't remember my first coon hunt um, it's just always been a way of life for me the story goes, when I was six months old, my grandpa came over and told my dad, said, let's go coon hunting. My dad's like, well, I got to watch Perry tonight. My, um, my mom, she went to a Tupperware party or something back in those days. And my grandpa said, well, heck, that ain't no excuse. So they ended up going coon hunting and they carried me through the woods, took turns carrying me through the woods at six months old. And I guess the rest is history. It stuck with me. So here I am. Um, just a lot of memories growing up with dad and grandpa. I remember, uh, you know, my dad, he worked second shift when I was little and I wanted to go coon hunting and he'd always tell me, well, if you'll wait up, when I get home, we'll go coon hunting. And I remember falling asleep on the couch with all my gear on. When he'd get home, we'd go coon hunting. Also remember, you know, a lot of times I'd stay all night with my papa and, uh, he had an old green Ford pickup truck, and he kept that thing stocked full of oatmeal cream pies and Little Debbies, and you name it, we had it. And we'd go coon hunting, and, uh, you know, I always, I like to eat. So we get hungry, we get in the truck and eat. And we get cold, we get in the truck and eat. I remember one night in particular, we was hunting together. I wasn't very old, probably six, seven, I don't know. And uh, we lost the dogs back in those days didn't have tracking collars so we just kind of hung out waiting for them to come back and we drive around trying to listen for them and we got off the side of the road and uh we sitting there listening well directly i guess we drifted off to sleep wasn't no big deal but up in the wee hours of the morning grandma she woke up and we weren't home yet well she started to worry and uh, she started driving roads well she found us and there we was asleep on the road. Well, she jumped out and she gave Papa a curry in, and I'll never forget it. She gave him the what for. And wasn't no big deal to us. We just fell asleep, but she got to worrying when she woke up because he'd known he had a bad heart and she thought something had happened to him. And there I was out there in the middle of the night being a little kid by myself. So that's a pretty good memory that I have. Um, something I always carry with me. And that's one of the main reasons I coon hunt is kind of carry on family tradition. And I enjoy working with hounds. I've always had hounds, and uh, I'll have them as long as I can. Another thing, um, I just feel like it's a great way to introduce kids to uh, hunting and being outside. Nowadays, I think deer hunting pretty well is a king in the in my area anyway. Everybody talks about deer hunting. Nobody wants you on your property during deer season. Everybody thinks you know deer season is great, and I love to deer hunt. But if you're trying to introduce a kid to the outdoors you stop and think about it. you take a little kid with a short attention span and you take them hunting and you tell them hey you gotta sit there you gotta be quiet and you can't move now that's not very fun for a little kid but if you take them coon hunting or rabbit hunting or something with a dog you know you can get out there and experience the outdoors you can laugh cut up talk about what happened at school or what happened at work or what your friend's been doing or you can even take your friends and they can go over there and jack around have fun make all kinds of noise the only time you really gotta be quiet is when you're trying to hear the dog um, just a real good way to introduce kids to the outdoors another reason that i uh like to coon hunt is uh you know i got a lot of people that i know that have gardens and chickens and they have trouble with keeping coons out of their gardens and their chi and their chickens so you know 
I kind of help out my friends and neighbors if they have problems and need, you know, the coons caught off their property, then I, I'm more than happy to oblige. I don't usually shoot a whole lot of coons, but if somebody has them and they're a nuisance, then yeah, um, I'll try to help them out. Another benefit of coon hunting is uh, coons are nest robbers. So where I live, we have wild turkeys. A lot of people like to hunt wild turkeys. And what I've noticed in the last few years is the turkey population has gone way downhill. Um, places I used to go all the time when I was a kid and hear all kinds of turkeys or even see all kinds of turkeys, they're just not there. A lot of people want to blame it on the bobcat, which, you know, the bobcat population in my area has exploded over the last few years, but I think that probably has part of something to do with it. But uh, another big reason is I think the downfall of coon hunters. You know, when I was younger, there was all kinds of coon hunters. Now they're starting to die off and and they're just not that many. And coons are predators, nest robbers. They kill, you know, young poults. And if they can catch a turkey, they'll kill it as well. But they also eat the eggs, so that affects the, you know, the hatch. So those are just some of the reasons that I like to coon hunt. Um, if you get a chance, drop a comment below in the comments. Let me know why you like to coon hunt. And uh, thanks for tuning in.